Welcome back to the LPR Trading Group YouTube channel. It's Dave again. I've got another video here for you guys today. And today we're going to talk about some of the trades I took today off the open. And the trades are based on a new model that we're working on within the group, calling it the scalp model. The reason why I'm working on this model is because for me personally, I am the worst at trading when markets drive straight up and drive straight down. I really like to see structure in trading, sweeps before I take trades. These are like my money type trades, but when a market is directionally driving with very little pullbacks or micro pullbacks and micro rebalances, I find it very difficult to trade. In previous times, I would stay away from days or price action like this. So over the past few months, I started developing a system with the group um, and what I want to do is talk about that today and how I got a few trades off the open based on this model. So this is my plan for the, the open. Sunday night we gapped up, uh, we pulled back, we held Sunday night's gap a little bit here. Let's pop into this chart. So this is our gap up on Sunday night. We pulled back into the gap a little bit, held, started driving to the upside. Another area I was interested in was this 41.59, which is the weekly point of control. Price got above weekly point of control, held held into the open and started driving off of that weekly point of control into the open. This is a large volume area uh, in the session, the on session and on the week here. So this is an area I was watching for price to balance around to get into an imbalanced trading range that we could then trade to the upside. We'll minimize this and we will pop up the charts that we executed the trades on. So these are the ATIC Renko charts that I look at intraday. And what I liked about this already thinking that I want to look for a pop off the open because we're holding that weekly volume point of control at the 4159s. And if we look down here, 4159-ish right here, we're holding. I do not love this low. I had an expectation that we were going to come back at some point and refill this low to clean it up. But with the momentum off the open, we were looking at a drive to the upside. So that's what we took. Now, all of these green boxes here are potential entries. They're not all entries that I took, okay? They're potential entries. I took four of these entries, and I will show you which four I took. I took this box, this box, this box, and this box. Why do we take these entries? This is a scalp model, and we're looking for micro rebalances in the marketplace. I'm running an eight tick Renko chart, okay? So we close blocks on the Renko with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ticks within the block once a new block opens it needs to move eight ticks above this tick value in order to close and open a new box this is how these eight tick rankos work this tail right here would have had to move eight ticks below this low in order to open up a new red print and close this print red before the, before the next print opened okay so nine ticks within here, eight ticks above, eight ticks below on the ninth tick at the top side, nine tick at the bottom side. This is when a new red bar would open. This is when a new green bar would open. Rankles are very good at identifying trend. So what I want to do on days like this where the market is moving directionally is I want to look at where were the previous buyers before this next print opened. If they're exposed and haven't been retested yet, like this block of positive delta here, we've got 120, 170, 189. What do the buyers naturally want to do? Rebalance the marketplace, catch another bid, and drive the market to the upside. This print closes. We open the next print here. Where are the buyers? Right in this area. What do the buyers naturally want to do? Rebalance the marketplace. Rebalance the marketplace. Rebalance the market before our next move up. These are micro rebalances of the marketplace. I had such a difficult time trading this or these type of days because I'm always looking for value. I want to get, you know, two, three, four point stops with targets of 10 plus points. I'm looking for a move to the upside, a very deep pullback into structure, and then I'm looking for a long here to get into the trade back to the highs. So I was missing a lot of the trades, a lot of the scalp type trades. Now, you're going to ask me, how do I know when to scalp and how do I know when to look for a more bigger picture intraday trend trade? It all depends on where the market is trading. For example, if this is the market range right here and you're looking for shorts, you could scalp 
the middle of this range short until it stops you out and it might not be a short anymore, okay? Or you scalp this range short until you get to an area of interest and then if we're sweeping lows, building structure down here, this is an area you'd look to get into a bigger picture play to the long side and hold this trade for a little bit longer than you would a scalp. Outside of this, everything is a scalp. If I'm inside of a range or looking at targeting something that is very close, for example, if this is 4,400 and price is trading around uh, 30, nope, sorry, 4,390. If price is trading around 4,390, I only have 10 points to this high. But if I can find a four, five, six point scalp within this, why not capitalize on it and take it? The market has been moving up. It's proving to me that buyers are going to rebid at previous aggressive buying at the offer. If they rebid, then I'm going to want to take this for a five, six point scalp. And this is the model I've been trading. These are the trades that I took today. And these are the trade examples just off that morning drive in the first uh, 9.30, in the first like 20 minutes, right? You get one trade, two, three, this was a hard one, you probably miss it, four, five trades right here. And on this last trade, if you were to buy here, you miss the profit target by one or two ticks, which is fine, the market turns around, you stop out, you have one loser, no problem. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What I wanted to do here is show you guys there is a difference and you guys can identify a difference between your trading types. It doesn't mean you have to scalp. It doesn't mean you have to intraday trend trade. If you're looking at a trade, whether you want it to be a scalp or an intraday trend trade, it's all dependent on where the market is lining itself up. Are you at bigger picture areas with bigger picture confluence? It might be a trade that you could hold for a longer amount of time. Are you just running the coattails of momentum on the way up or on the way down? It is probably not a bigger picture trade that you're gonna wanna hold throughout the day. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, I will get back to every single one of your comments. Good luck on the charts, trade safe. Cheers.